All right, welcome back to my video. So today's video is the flight video for the HGLRC F4 Zeus uh, mounted onto a Atom V2 frame. And I'm at uh, at one of my favorite parks here. The wind is blowing about, well, according to the weather, it was blowing about 20 miles an hour with uh, 35 mile an hour gusts. And it was uh, roughly about 37 degrees outside. So, needless to say, I was frozen, and um, kind of a miserable experience, actually. Um, the wind was blowing out of the north right straight onto me, and there was really no way to hide from it out here. So, so yeah, my hands are frozen. Um, I usually have a great time flying. I, I usually, that's all I want to do is fly, but today's flight, I just wanted to go home. Um... <clears throat> One thing I noticed on right away when I was playing back the DVR f footage is uh, how the DVR was cutting off the sides and the bottom of the video. Um, on the bottom has my battery voltage, um, my uh, the amount of current that I'm using, and so on and so forth. And as you can see in the video, it's not represented. When I loaded it up into the uh, into the editing program, it tried to change it from a 3.2 and it's supposed to be a 4.3 so i think the camera uh the uh hglrc elf camera is actually a pal camera and it does not get along with my dvr um and that's why you're seeing that cross hatching in the video um in the goggles it's it's crystal clear i mean crystal clear but for some reason um on the gog or on th through the DVR footage, it's got this cross hatching, and it's cutting off the bottom of the screen and also the sides of the screen. So I'm just this is the maiden flight. Um, I this is like the fourth flight here. I was trying to what I what I did is I, I basically just copied over the settings that I had for the GEP um, 139 build, and this is a much different craft. So. I had to set the PIDs up differently. Um, definitely had to change the rates, the super rates and the rates. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling to um, get it to loop correctly and, and set itself properly. Um, and, and a lot of that has to deal with just I just tuning. I just really didn't spend a lot of time tuning on it. Um, I tried different propellers today. Um, I tried the gem fans, the HQs. I tried the Rotor X uh, 3040s, tried the race crafts, and the best prop on all of my three inches have, has always been the uh, Lumineers, and um, because they're they're so durable and they're they're just so much more efficient in the air. I know the static tests, it the static tests the race craft um, three inch props are supposed to be um, I think they're the 3041s. They're supposed to be more efficient, but they're actually not. Um, they actually cost me about 30 seconds of flying, same type of flying as I'm doing here. And they just don't have the overall performance of the um, Lumineers. And, and what I figured out, what, it, what it, I think it is, is because of the torque curve of the motors. And it kind of makes sense. I mean, I, I, I build motors uh, for a living, uh, rewind motors, um, big electrical motors for a living. And so I kind of understand the, um, the, the relationship between the windings and the, how it produces torque. And so it, it, to kind of give you an example, if you had a 4x4 four four pickup and you were to put much larger tires on it, of course, if you don't change the gearing into the, uh, in the axles, you're going to get a lot different performance. Uh, you're going to lose fuel economy. Um, it's not going to be able to go as fast and so on and so forth. And, and that's kind of what I'm thinking here with these motors is the Illumineer props are so much, a little bit heavier and they just tend to, um, work better with the, uh, four KV motors. So... And I also tried out stabilize mode and horizon mode. So here, this video is to show a difference between, on the on the left hand side we have the um, the Runcam Swift Micro, 
with uh, with a TBS uh, Unify Pro and also a um, Cloverleaf antenna. And on the right, we have the HGLRC TX20 with just a dipole antenna and the HGLRC ELF camera. And you can see the performance on the cameras are pretty much the same. That's why I'm thinking they're just run cams. Both, both of them are pretty much the same as far as that goes. Um, a little bit later in the day on the, on the left hand for the run cam, a little about a half an hour later, um, but you can see I'm getting a significant more breakup, which is normal for this park on the, uh, on the Unify Pro than I am the TX20. Um, and that's what I was kind of surprised by. Um, the, the TX20 is, to me, phenomenal. Now, the DVR does add a little bit more breakup than what you actually see out there. It's just the nature of DVRs for some reason. Um, but when, you, when I was flying out there, the, the ELF camera and the TX20 was, to me, far, far superior. Uh, overall image, overall quality of signal. So I was uh, very happy with that. And I think the TX20 is, is the receiver of choice. I mean, that's what I think I'm going to use in every one of my builds because of that. Um, So you can see the sunlight performance on the ELF camera is, is really good. I mean, it doesn't blind you. Um, it does a really good job there. So, it's very sharp. But the color's the same. Um, and I'm just kind of hovering around there, kind of showing off the ELF camera a little bit and how it reacts. So... So now we're on to the crash videos, and these these are a lot of fun. Um, I'm frozen about this time. I just got off the phone with the wife, and I mean, I'm I'm complaining. I said I'm I'm coming home because I am I'm just so damn cold. And you can see the tree in the background just whipping around. Um, so I go to take off, bam, right into my hands. The props literally went right across the knuckles on both hands on the bottom of my radio. And uh, luckily it didn't cut anything, but it, it certainly didn't feel good on frozen hands. So that's what that wreck was. And it, this one here, I'm going to go and do a power loop and completely lose it. Boom. Right on its top. Nothing got damaged. And that just comes down to the tuning of the rates. So this one here, um, coming back around, I'm still trying to play with the rates some more on the Lewis script on the, the QX7. Because it does fly so much different. It's so much lighter than anything I have. And I flip upside down and I get lost. And, f and I ended up full throttle going straight into the ground. And that took out my, uh, my camera. So, Well, thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you.